Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with the Outer Worlds and our first playthrough of the game. Well, last time we made it into the very, very secret lab over to Roseway, and we've uh, probably done most part of it and uh, are coming up to a decision. Either go with uh, eliminating the woman that had uh, has Anton's data or help her get out, or maybe do something else. I don't really know what we can or cannot do. So, uh, what's her way? Mally, O'Malley. She's, Cassandra O'Malley is right here just waiting for us to bust her out. I have the keycard, I can do it right now. But we also picked up some canisters. We picked up some canisters that I wouldn't mind trying to do something with. We have a couple of raptodons in here. Can I do something about that? There's a pointer towards over there. Uh, what does this terminal say? H. Braden. These are just messages. Uh, good news and bad news. The bad news is that we've got a sprat problem. Thanks to little monsters chewing on our wires, our ventilation system is temporarily offline. If your aptitudes are cracky, you'll need to sedate them manually. Bring a few canners of sedative and hook uh, it up to the auxiliary terminal in the main research chamber. The good news is that my Hephaestus hammers clobbered your precious Rizzo's rangers. Would you care for some Auntie Cleo's tri tripical, tripical pasta sauce with your humble pie? Oh, come on, sports ball. Um, please explain the unmitigated disaster I'm currently holding in my hand. I have here a form approving the relocation of our raptor mother to the main hall. A form signed by you. First of all, the structural integrity of our Raptodon tanks are not nearly sufficient to contain an enraged Raptodon mother. Secondly, Raptodons are notoriously territorial and extremely protective of their young. Please stop me if I'm using too many numbers for you. I know we have a problem with basic arithmetic, uh, seeing how you don't need, seem to realize the Raptodon mother plus Raptodon tank equal murder. Respectively yours from Gale. Okay, so our option is to get to that. But that's being a little... Okay, so it's a bit of a... We're moving a little bit, but it doesn't seem like I can do that easily. Is there another way in there? That is barred. Skyrim door. Yeah, there's really no way in, I would assume, from here. No, that's just that room. No above way either. These seem like uh, they would hold the tubes that I've been picking up, but uh, no, apparently not. So those are, I mean, it very much does look like this could be a place. But no, there's no prompts here for me to do anything. <coughs> the only thing I have is the little quest marker there for... Uh, for the raptors in here. Okay, well. All right. Lushen up. Can we? How close can we get until you start noticing me? How close can I get? Can I? Look at that. <laughs> move in now. Got a mama See what happens if I. Can I make this already? Yeah. Let's move out. Oh. So what happened now? Something over there. Gas gas raptors, okay. Sure. I just avoided that one. So we loaded up those, and now we need to get to the terminal over there. There is one. Oh, you are oh, you are noticing me. Be a little bit careful here. So that one moves up and then it moves down again. So whenever it moves down, that's our cue. Or away. But what is your route? Oh, you actually need to walk away. Oh, that's perfect. Right. Let's gas ourselves some raptorons. Use terminal. Ventilate gas. Please inform any employees currently in shape that one please uh, accidental death and dismemberment policy. It does not cover gas and use brain damage. Oh, oh, let's get out then. If I need to. Let's not be there. Let's 
so are they all taken care of? It does seem like it. Okay. So that was an optional. Fair enough. Let's go in here, pick up the stuff that we can pick up. You had a... That's an outlaw. Uh, let's just pick up the helmet as well. This was something else. Messages. From uh, Agarwal to Brayden. Um, that is actually the same one. That's <laughs> the, the one. Okay. That's actually exactly the same. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Couldn't I have done that from the other? Ooh. Danger sign. I want to pick that up. <laughs> uh, anything fun in here other than... You know, me having taken care of them. Uh, there is a mechanical sentry. Let's just keep picking that up. No, oh, you're just sleeping now. Beautiful. Okay. So, we, oh. <laughs> can't, can't walk over the mother, sadly. <laughs> okay, so dead scientist. Obviously, more dead scientist. This one had a bit of stuff on them. Uh, that is a free... Can't keep, us out. Can't keep us out indeed. Nice. A lot of locks that don't require mag picks, just a high lock pick. That's a bit interesting. Right, okay, so we dealt with that, but uh, yeah, okay, so she is the uh, solution here. Now, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I was wondering, should I just kill her? I mean,. My character isn't really about helping, you know, outlaws, etc, etc. She's just an outlaw. Should I just shoot her? You are asking yourself if I can be trusted. I do not blame you. I am asking myself the same question about you. Well, I mean, I do have the key card. And I can say that either I'll help you or that I attack. And I mean, she's, uh, she's an outlaw. She's, I've been killing outlaws all the time, just because she's a name, I don't really care about her more just because of that. So you know what? No, I'm actually gonna kill her. Cassandra Malley, you're gonna die. I don't know if I kill her. This is gonna open here. Hello. And bam, 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 bam. All of the headshots. More headshots, more headshots. You're not dead yet, but you're gonna die pretty soon. There we go. She's dead. Get the research data. I'm helping Anton, damn it. So she has a ooh, security blade. Mauler, more outlaw, okay. So I've done that. Then we have the weapon plans and Vaughn's research. Okay, so can I, can I, can I, can I, here we go. Can I mark that one? Is that in here? Uh, Schematics Gladix experiment. Can I open from here? No, I cannot open here. Okay. Let's get up here and up and around. Because that is most likely in here. Right. Yeah, that is in here. Okay. Yeah, this is a room that I was looking at before. So that's this. A vortex maze. That sounds interesting. Right, uh, this is Cortez. Experiment in progress, 98% autopause engaged. Can I just complete it? That seems dangerous because there's a science one here that says recalibrate experiment. Hmm, view experiment log. Uh, from Cortez. So far the musk extraction is coming along nicely. Pressure level seems to be staying even and vari variance in the sample seems to be at an acceptable tolerance. Uh, I thought these wraps smelt bad on the outside. Now that they're cut open, every everyone is likely to avoid my lab for the rest of the day while I finish this up. Wait a sec, there's some kind of commotion going out in the hall. An alarm started going off. Must be another damn security system. Check, let me go see what's going on. Okay, I can do things. But, oh, oh, but I don't know if I should. There's a lot of tags here. <laughs> okay. That's just a security blade. More free. I have 63 maglocks or magpicks. Because I'm not finding any uh, I'm not finding any locks that need them. You do you need no you were you were not locked. Can I find any any information here? Can I 
investigate. Uh, that's just more magpix that I don't actually need. Hmm. That is a rapty prod. Oh, that's cool as well. Uh, right. Do I just chance it? Let's just chance it. Complete experiment. Here we go. Deal with abandon. Deal with the abandoned experiment. Have we done that? Uh, yield 25 liters of Raptor on Musk Tech using Callway. Well, I, I did that. Where's my friends, by the way? Are they just waiting outside? Felix? Oh, there, there you are. Okay. Uh, then we have schematics. Okay. So that is in the other direction. Let's just go. How did I miss this, by the way? Haven't I been here? Lucky I had the. <laughs> lucky I had that then. Uh, no, actually, wait. That's. Uh, I can't get to there from here. Is there a, another way? That's an exit. Okay, that's exit actually. Okay, fine. Uh, I would like to. That's actually where we came from. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I would like to go and talk to uh, the guy. Oh, some more stuff here. Uh, I would like to talk to the man, the security guy. See what he has to say about what I just did. If he's uh, happy with what I did, or if uh, I did bad. Either way, it would be nice to see what he has to say. So he is uh, over here, right? No, that, that, that's, that's an office. Uh, that's where his office was. Yes, that's the cafeteria. Uh, was he up here? A little bit. Yeah, now we're getting there. Right. Uh, let's see what he has to say about all of this. You done a job of work. After you cacked their employer, the gun hand started surrendering. Or trying to slip out. There we go. Auntie Cleo likes me. Nice. Yep, but we got it done. We heard it all from up here. Hell of a thing. Right. Uh, yet she did have an agenda Taking here. Taking the fight to the bosses by gunning down a bunch of little folk. Real fucking bright, that one. Yeah, I mean, sort of. <laughs> but, uh, fine, she might have had a point. But I think that you need to be protected from her. She had some perfect, weird motives. But shooting towns up ain't the way to improve. Exactly. My kind of logic right there. So how are your people? Lost some of my own in the fight. And a bunch of the staff died before we could get them to Roseway. Indeed. It's not your fault. Sign on my door says it is. But that ain't your trouble. And that is also true. So, yeah. How about a reward for this? Get down to Roseway and talk to Doc Crane. He'll make sure you get what's yours. That sounds very, very reasonable. So, let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here. And uh, see where the, those schematics are. Maybe by the uh, the forester thingy thingy. Possibly. I haven't been there properly. So let's uh, let's head out and see where we are going now. And we're out. So we have schematics over here. That is in the. Oh, did I miss it? Huh. I I I was there. Okay. Hello, squish squish. Uh, okay, so for some reason I must have missed that. I thought I cleared that place out, but apparently not. Uh, not everything. Let's just be line straight back. I wouldn't assume that anything has respawned here, so we should be good. Just walking straight up, right? I think so. Yes. Right, let's get in here and see what I missed. For some reason I missed this one. That's beautiful. Yeah, let's get in and see what I missed here. And we're in and a bit down. Where would the direction be that I need to go? I need to find a way to get down. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. 
On the wall, yeah, I must have missed that completely. There we go. Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly intel Ill illegible writing. Except for the name Ars Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. Schematics depict a Flogis Synchrotron pistol from a brand named Force, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It is unclear from these plans what a Flogis Synchrotron does. Okay. That is fair enough. Let's uh, make it out and back to uh, Roseway. But first, I want to check out the uh, deforestation machine here. Deforesting. De it's not deforestation, deforesting machine. There were some uh, outlaws, etc., etc., but nothing too bad, so I should be able to handle them without much problem. Unless I walk into mines. God damn it. <laughs> They're really easy to find. I should be more careful. <laughs> They're like lit up completely, so I should be very, very able to locate them. Okay, so what do we have here? That is a tamed cannon. Where are the humans? One human over there. See if I can just take this out. Yes, I can. That's dead, and you didn't even notice. Oh boy, that's good. That's some good damage right there. And uh, no one else, as I can see so far. I wouldn't assume that you're alone. I mean, you have your canid over here, but yeah, there's a more, one more canid there, but that's fine. Let's just go for you. Hit you in the head. There we go. Oh, someone over here. Oh, you had a weird weapon, didn't you? Now you're dead. There we go. Oh. Hey. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I think that was a big one in a suit thing. Oh, there, that's a mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw it on this occasion. Uh, you had absolutely nothing on you. That's interesting. All right. Uh, one more that we don't need lockpicks for. Uh, let's pick up everything. Whole bunch of mines here. So be a little bit careful. Be a little bit careful. That's just wrapped it on. Don't care about them. Can I? Can I get in? Sort of want to get in it, but. Uh, I, ooh, here we go, abandoned data pad. To whom it may concern, I've been an anti Cleo man my whole life. When I got promoted to the Roseway deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believed Auntie Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it over with civilization. Better than nature, that's your motto. <laughs> that's a very bad motto. Uh, I wanted to be a part of that initiative. I wanted to see Roseway become an object of envy among corporate outposts. I wanted to wave our quarterly reports in front of every spacer's choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I work from dawn to dusk without a word of complaint. Uh, now you have me working on building walls around the town. We've given up on expansion. Half the, the town's already been relocated. Worst of all, the forestation team's been disbanded, and my equipment's left out, left to rust in the landscape. If you're reading this, then you have found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my own way as an outcast, living outside the law, than work under these conditions. Oh well, such is life, I guess. Right, uh, was there a guy over here? I don't really care. Right, we are going to backtrack now over to... to, to, to Doom that came to Roseway. Time to go back to town and talk to Anton. And we're back inside. So, let's go talk to Anton and see... See what he has to say about all of this then. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, it's you. Oh, you can be a little bit more happy. My thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Well, I'll solve solve all your problems. The outlaws are now without a leader. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. Yes, yes, yes. Here it is. That's. You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. 
Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Oh, yeah, I did. He's fine. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Mm-hmm. We are now agreeable with Auntie Cleo. Nice. Bunch of cartridges. Uh, more cartridges. And a researcher's scrub. Don't know if I didn't want that, but whatever. So yeah, exactly. You didn't really care about him. It's all about your ambition. You understand nothing. Me, least of all. I mean, either it is that, or you are just completely worthless at actually expressing yourself properly. But yeah, I kind of think that you do. You believe you care. Uh, deep down, you don't. That's not true. I, I'm a man of great caring. You say that. Exactly. Paperwork in the mirrors. If you won't admit your shallow to me, at least admit it to yourself. And we are just gonna leave. I'd never own up to that. That would be true. It's this place, this colony. You can see that, can't you? I need to get to Byzantium. It's the only place life can have meaning. Well, that is a way to look at it. But, uh, oh, I don't have to go too rough on him. We can talk about something else. I suppose you've earned it. I like that we actually didn't leave the conversation. <laughs> so yeah, uh, some of your co-workers have been doing some experimenting. Oh, really? Who? Now, who was that? <laughs> yeah, okay, Vaughn, was it? Extracting an organic compound from the rest to sell on the black market. That underhanded swine. I'll have him sorted out at once. Such a thing should be within even Porter's limited abilities. Oh, I like Porter. I suppose you've earned it. Okay, so uh, did I want to lose that? I guess I did. Uh, so yeah, what about the secret secrecy I here? To have brought the Raptodons to Terra too. The research done on them before Monarch was left to the dregs was too promising to just abandon. So here we are. Ah, I see. So Corporation really didn't want to help you then. You've not much idea how these things work, do you? If Auntie Cleo could be connected to what we're doing here, they'd be ruined. But it says Auntie Cleo everywhere. <laughs> but the ultimate thing is to be exposed. Plausible deniability is everything. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's just leave, and that's a level up with perks. Nice. Uh, right, let's uh, head back to a ship and see what we want to do after this. Right, back on the... Uh, Ship. Don't don't listen in. Uh, let's actually do a level up. So skills, skills, skills. We uh, went uh, up a little bit on tech before. Could go for more of that. Uh, could go for more hack. I think. Well, actually, no, not hack. Lockpick is what I was sort of thinking about. But no, I kind of want to get. Is there anything in science tinkering cost? Ooh. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that up. I'm getting that up to 40, and after that, I'm pretty done with tech, I believe. Uh, more drug mixing slot. I don't think that that's necessary. Not on this occasion, no. So yeah, okay, but I like that, uh, lower cost of that, because uh, as we figured out last time, we need to start tinkering a whole lot more. And uh, yeah, we've opened up tier 2, so what do we have now? Uh, movement penalty to accuracy down, uh, time uh, dilation restored per kill, science weapon damage, uh, movement, speed, movement speed during up, uh, time dilation, uh, bonus to extra headshot. We, yeah, okay, so that's basically the one that we're gonna get. Uh, five meter interactable highlight range. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, collect uh, more vendor buying price. Uh, chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. Chance to reset a companion's cooldown when using the other companion's ability. And uh, less uh, companion ability cooldowns per kill. And health restore per kill. Consumable weight, carrying capacity bonus from companions, and dialogue skills. That's also a good one. But no, obviously. 20% bonus, extra headshot, weak spot damage. There is uh, really no uh, no qu question at all here. Uh, you, None of you have extra 
perks or anything like that. Nope, that's fine. Now, we have a couple of things that we can do here on the ship if we do anything else. We have the cleaning machine. Because we have the acid steeper pot needed, so we can just uh, go talk to... Well, not talk to, but uh, have a little bit of a look at that unit. And uh, how, how did we get here? Up here, right? Yeah, here we go. Hello, Sam. Install the acid steeper. Okay, rumbling vibrates from the unit's chassis. Okay. Hello. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This Sam unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your Sam? Yes, I would. Registering new owner, Captain. That's me. <laughs> Welcome to the crew. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. So you're actually going to clean? Or are you going to be another companion that I can pick up? Because it, it is dusty in here. I would like for you to actually clean. <laughs> We, we shall see. Oh my gosh, Felix, you got to hear this. You know Princess of Hephaestus? That late show about the freedom fighter with a pure heart and a mean right hook? She finally kissed her sweetheart, Miss Yuko. <laughs> That's the episode with Ruth Bellamy, right? Been meaning to catch that. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is uh, drinking with Parvati. We're going to go to Skilla for one thing, back to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Uh, doing that, retrieve the logic module. I could actually do this now for two very specific reasons. Just to make sure that I'm done with it. I'm going to leave it now, though. Uh, we do have 10,000 bits, by the way, so we can just buy that. Uh, what I would like to do, actually, is something completely different. Like, completely different from uh, what we just uh, saw. Uh, I would... Oh, that's the wrong way. I would like to go and talk to uh, the man, I was about to say. Phineas! Because we could actually have gone to Phineas' lab before. And that just seems uh, interesting. I want to see what he is sort of, you know, up to. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's travel to Phineas and have a chat with him. Now arriving at... Top secret orbital lab. Yeah, that is a uh, that is one way to do a lab. I concur. It's still very dusty. Come on, robot, get get to it. Right, let's uh, let's uh, travel a little bit to Phineas and see what he has to say about everything. So we're in the docking bay, and would you know, Hello? Sam? You hear me? Does this work? Yeah, it works very well. Oh damn it! Blast! That's loud. We have Sam. You know what? I wanna I wanna do this first. Sam, what can you do? You have intimidate, uh, negative repetition per kill, and damage to auto mechanicals. Uh, let's just give you health. <laughs> let's give you health, and let's also give you extra threat. Somehow it feels as if you're tanky. Let's do that. And um, okay, so where would you be? That that, that is my ship. So let's just uh, keep going here. So I'm just you know, securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. There's really nowhere else to go. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. So he's just going to be buying a glass pane, is she? Or is he? And you're not going to look at me either. That's beautiful. Hello, I'm here. Okay, well, talk to him. Fantastic. Okay. So yeah, let's start by actually thanking him. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. Not a problem. I regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my 
large supply of necessary chemicals. So yeah, let's uh, okay talk talk, talk, to, talk about something else. Apparently, we didn't want to say anything more about that. So, is there really a reason for the bulletproof glass here? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Does that mean that you never get out? That seems a bit weird. Absolutely. Let's talk. Uh, so yeah, have you? Uh, I mean, this this was a, a little bit less interesting than I previously, you know, pictured in my mind. But yeah, what about the crew? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Doctor Wells. I'm Pervati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? He's a very secret Why of, you know, of his person. To my secret, carefully concealed laboratory. It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Yeah. He just wants to be left alone. They're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. Oh, I'll touch things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found the crew such as they are. You're a talented scientist after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Indeed. I'm doing pretty well for myself. <laughs> Let's just say that. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Scientific progress. Okay, so actually, you know what? You weren't that fun. <laughs> As usual. But it was nice to, you know, come and talk to him. He also has a... Oh. Well, that's cute. What are you? That was basically the sound from Warcraft, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess the sound from Warcraft is the general pig sound, so that's fine. You know what? Let's just uh, get back to... Uh, or actually, do I want to go around some planets first? Before we head back to the groundbreaker? I think I do. I want to check out Skill, I think. So, let's uh, set that course up. Hey, we're not intruders. So yeah, Skilla. Can I go to Skilla already? Yes, I can. Let's uh, head over there and see what's going on. Destination reached. Scylla. Okay. Big old rock. <laughs> Let's uh, head down to the landing pad and uh, see what's going on here. W which quest was this? This was the solution vital. And we are supposed to talk to Captain Irion. Well, this is... I mean, this is a view and a half, isn't it? This is real space, isn't it? Empty, silent. Never thought I'd see the light. Oh, hello, I Sam. Up at night, but... Let's get fresh. <laughs> Let's get fresh indeed. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. This is like some sort of force field that's uh, going around everything. I would assume that that is the case, yes. Okay, well, anything fun here on the landing pad before we head out? Any fun containers for me to loot? Regular flywheel, I'm not gonna bother with it right now. Oh, don't need to go down there. Well, n nothing really. Well, you know what? We have a vending machine, so let's uh, sell a few things. Steam and Ocean, yeah, I can sell that. We have a bunch of stuff that we can just sell over here. So that's some extra money for me. We have a couple of these. That's actually a sort of better one, I guess. No, it's actually a completely different one. That is tech skills, so that is cause burn duration plus 30. So is that if, if I have a weapon that causes burning, the duration would be higher. I guess that's it. Uh, let's uh, sell some stuff here, by the way. Block, don't care about that. Determination, don't care about that. Just a regular heavy. Inspiration, don't care. Just heavy, don't care. Science plus three, that's not a whole lot. Block and stealth, not super bad. 
Uh, that is just sneak. I mean, I have stealth skills plus five, and then just sneak, so that's not that good either. As for weapons, we have some pulse hammers. Those aren't important. We here we have the Rapti prod, which is labeled as a special weapon. Fine. Right, I have the weapon that I wanted to do something with. That is a. Oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a new. There's uh, enemies here. Where are they? They're on sort of the other side of this place. Okay. Uh, Parvati, what uh, you had? I kind of like the scythe, though. I kind of like the scythe, though. We'll see what I do about that. Um, not really important right now. So are these? Uh, so these are combat drones, and Captain Irin is way over there. Okay, so we're actually gonna fight drones. Do we need to fight drones? Why are these on this planet, or this rock as well? That's a bit weird. Let's avoid the combat drones if we can. There's no point in engaging in attack unnecessarily. Okay. Don't be such a Ooh, primals. Doesn't it feel better to locomote without grit in your gears? To gain authorization credentials, an engineer must be registered as the unit's designated caretaker. Do you wish to assign yourself this designation, engineer? You asking me to be your minder? Well, I suppose you can't be any more complicated than an autoloader. All right, I'll do it. Updating registration. Updating. Updating. Ding. Holcomb Parvati good. is now responsible for this SAM unit's maintenance. Designated caretaker. There is a rock in this unit's tread. Removal of foreign debris requested. Not gonna respond to that? Apparently not. Okay, so... Colonel Butterscotch. Which is a primal. Why are there primals here? Who brought primals here? Because surely there won't, wouldn't be primals here without anyone actually bringing them here. Uh, I would like to just avoid you as well. For now, there's no reason to engage with them if I don't have to. So let's just uh, skirt around if we can. I might be thinking that the... Uh, uh, that the uh, primals are way tougher than they actually are, but I'm not gonna find out right now. <laughs> Let's just say. Okay, so we have a. Oh. Hey. Oh, is this a, is this what was I supposed to kill this? Doctor Rosa said that Captain Irin is most likely somewhere. Skilla, go find him and make sure he's okay. Captain Irin is being held captive by outlaws. It looks like uh, he probably needs saving. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Can we hurry this up? I want that ship gutted before the primals find us. I see. I see what we need to do. So what do we have? We have a striker over here. Oh, I'm trying to be a little bit stealthy here. You idiot. Oh well. That's fine. It's a bit tricky to be uh, stealthy when your friends just uh, go r running in like idiots. You have some sort of corrosive things, that's cool as well. Well, this wasn't too bad. Let's just uh, pick up everything. Because down the line, that's stuff that I can sell. Uh, we'll get to you in just a second. That's some ambidextrin, nice. I think I sort of misunderstood how the uh, sort of mixing thing worked. Because I am sure that I didn't use the ambidextrin that I had. Uh, but what I think I what I think happens is that if you uh, if you put it here, it will be consumed any time that you actually use this, is what I'm thinking. 
So right now I have Adreno. See, if I put something else here and I use the the inhaler, it, both of those would be consumed. That's how I sort of think that that works. Why didn't you? But where, where are you? You're also like a SAM unit-ish, but a medical one. Okay, hello. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Oh, aren't you just full of yourself? <laughs> okay, uh, sure, buddy. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. So is that what you're doing right here? So yeah, let's just introduce ourselves here. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? Oh, she sure did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming. And sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. How did you figure that out? <laughs> so, yep, you are lucky to, that you are alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're one character, aren't you? Oh, what the hell? Oh, it was me walking through fire. Uh, that usually doesn't work out well. Okay, so that's basically what we could do here as far as that quest. But there's more stuff here. I mean, there's what there was an entire town, and I want to check this out if I can. This is interesting. I would assume that this is some sort of mining operation, right? That seems reasonable. UDL. Oh, it's a terraform. Why would you terraform this little rock? But yeah, absolutely. There's some uh, stuff growing here. Explains how we ain't dead. Well, the pylons and the O2, this thing's cracking from the noise, so just lift off. Your name is Sam Queenser. So yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a bit interesting, but I would like to see the buildings over here. What, what What's going on over here? Can we find any people actually here? Or are we just talking mechanicals all over the place, just guarding everything? Oh, that's a primal behemoth. I don't want to take care of that. That is a ravager. Can I sneak around the back of you? That is a, two behemoths. I don't want to take two behemoths on this occasion, so that's fine. We will just avoid. Anything here? No, nothing here. But yeah, who would bring primals here? Is that part of the terraforming process? Maybe. I mean, I don't know anything about terraforming. Traveling on an organic substance in the immediate vicinity. I kind of like Sam. Detected. Mildew. Detected. Okay, so there's more detected. stuff here. Detected. He is trying to share us up, aren't you? <laughs> so what do we find up here? Something up there. That is a mechanical. I mean, is there any reason to be here? Really? A general store. Okay. Well, that mechanical seemed pretty much by itself. Oop, wrong button. So you're dead. That went well. Uh, oh yeah, I just picked everything up. Didn't really mean to, but fine. Okay, is this a place where I can get in? On this occasion I do need to use magpix. That's fine. Uh, get one back from that. More adrenos. Some stuff here. A bunch of mods that I could potentially use. More ammo, more body parts, more ammo. That's uh, a fine little, a fine little haul from that building. But what is this place? 
This is an outpost. But why are there people here? Where are the people? Okay, we have a workbench in here. Or around. Not in here. <laughs> this is just a little bit of a living space. Where was the workbench? Over here. I would like to tinker a bit. Now that I can tinker... I'm not going to tinker with that one, though. Irina's flintlock. We got a weapon from him. A... Uh, uh, 12 uh, size gun. I'm currently using a bolter pistol and a light pistol. Uh, so that would be in a... That would be a replacement for that, I think. So that's, you know, arguably a lot better. I think. Yeah. Let, let's not uh, dwell too much on that one. Let's actually not dwell too much on anything here. Uh, if I want to tinker with this one, it's just 37 to tinker with this. That is quite impressive. Okay, so that's weird actually. That is so low, but uh, I'm a okay with it. We'll deal with that when we get back to the ship, I believe. Oh, oh, hello. Another sentry over here. And combat drones and all of the rest over there. Do I bother with this? I don't think that I bother with this. No, we're just going to go back to the unreliable and be on our merry way. So, next stop. Uh, we do have one more thing, I think. Here we go. The relay. Groundbreakers backup communications relay went offline some while ago. Let's go check that out as well. So that is the relay over here. Let's see let's see what happens over there. And there we go. That is the relay. Let's uh, travel there and see what we have to deal with on this occasion. Here we are. And uh, by the way, I've completely replaced Felix now. I like Sam way better. Right, so we have some enemies behind that door. So what is it? Captain, this place is that is empty, yeah? I got some auto, auto mechanicals. Feels like we can deal with them without much issues. Can pick this door, that's fine. So what can we find in here? One more magpix. You very common that you find magpix behind doors that you have to use magpix on, which is you know fine. Right, what's going on here? On a mechanical home security control system, please select from the following option. Display unit, uh, display unit status. Uh, zero mechanical set to charging routine. Six mechanical set to patrolling designated areas. Hostility level, kill on site, etc. etc. Update security routines. I can hack. Begin charging cycle. Action complete. Perfect. That means that I will now not have any enemies whatsoever. That is barred. That's beautiful. I wonder if that is on a timer or something. We shall see, I would assume. Uh, can I... Well, that's annoying. How do we get past here, then? Well, let's uh, start by hacking our way in here. And sort of bypass it all together. Because that works. Uh, oh, 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 oh. But you are not hostile on this occasion, so let's just... Uh, Shoot that away. You're not gonna mind me. Beautiful. You are just uh, recharging on this occasion. Perfect. A pickaxe. And a journal here. Phrase journal. I'm about to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no need, the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to the light eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. Mm. Uh, I saw a friend today, an old friend from school who is now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was of an old book I found that uh, described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end this pain. 
that he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave by Santium. He will tell, tell, tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can't be alone. A place with no whispers. That's a... Uh, Highly unsettling, but uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so we're making our way down here. Excuse me? Don't know what the hell that was about, but okay. Uh, these are just stuff that I don't really care about. Uh, stock up on these things, that's fine though. Nice little storage area here. And I did see uh, this little thing. Where does this lead? It's a bit cautious. It's a little. It's a lot of uh, these weird areas where you can just find random stuff. It's quite interesting. Okay, it just goes on and on. <laughs> okay, well I'm I'm okay with that. It's a bit of, yes, back here. That's, actually, there's a mag pick here, so I'm happy that I looked through that. Maybe I triggered a, a trap or something back there. That, that's why something exploded. I don't know. A lot of uh, sh containers, again, not needing mag picks. And these are all... You, are, you, you have a duster for hand. That's cute. On this occasion, we do need to use mag picks. That's fine. Any bets on if I'm gonna find a mag pick? Yes, I did. <laughs> so even though I'm using two mag picks, I'm also getting one back. Now where is uh, this leading me? Just up here for some more loot. Nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just flying up. Right. Uh, ow. Open this up. That's the board door. Another board door over here. Now that is the board door that we saw. This is just the uh, back side of this place. Some cool, uh, cool armor, perhaps. Uh, examine here. Auto mechanical manual. The instructions painted on this manual have been covered by a mostly illegible scrawl. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through from the force of whoever wielded the pen. One section, describing the correct procedures for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule, is mostly untouched. Random letters uh, within the text are circled, as they were, though the owner were trying to discover some message hidden within. Yeah, the person living here didn't really feel all right. Okay. So last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and the lila was beside me. I did not question why my superior was there. Her eyes so full of emotion. I know she feels, but dares not to show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf in a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming. Screaming! When I woke, I was scared. The dream was so real now, and this time I recognized the face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. That fray person is very... Very, 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 very disturbed. <laughs> okay, so this is where we got in. Yes, I do like this little cozy place. So that would be it, Frey, then. Relay control terminal passcode and the silencer. One-handed melee. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop. Not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson, beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End. End. Forgive me, Delilah. Oh, that's so sad. So, 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 so sad. He did not have a good time in the end. Okay. Just make sure that I pick everything up. That's an interesting game. Okay. Uh, seem to not be missing anything. Let's look at the terminal. Activate the relay transmitter. 
Pathways are synced, power is stable. Diagnostic report that 26 out of 28 arrays are functioning. Operational ping has been received. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, copy complete. All store messages have successfully transferred to physical storage device. Can I? There we go. Oh, there we go. Reactivate the relay transmitter. Beautiful. Let's get back to the groundbreaker and back to. Uh, no, n not back on the groundbreaker, back on the unreliable, and then back to the groundbreaker. And here we are, back on the groundbreaker, and we're gonna pick this up in the next episode. We have a bunch of stuff to return to various people on here, so we will see after we do we have done that exactly where we're going after that. We have one more location that we could have gone already, which is the monarch, but then there are a couple of locked away spaces as well. So we'll see if any of those open up after we return all of the quests up here. So more of that is going to come in the next episode. For now though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.